in the kitchen now with Dr. Janet Gain. She's here talking about buying fresh and buying local this summer and how you need to read the labels, too. Absolutely, and don't be fooled by who has put a product out. For example, America's Biggest Loser, this product of popcorn called Fit, is really not the healthiest. It has a very high sodium quotient, whereas the Skinny, which is a brand new popcorn, and these are really current popcorns on the shelf. Skinny is by far the best, plus the best tasting. And the thing you want is you want to feel satisfied because one of the people, one of the reasons people overeat is because they're not satisfied. And with lower calorie foods or lower fat foods, people tend to eat more. This is wonderful. We'll taste that this morning so you'll know. You put the, the ribbons on certain things. These are the, your choices for the best ones. Best ones. And same with hot dogs. Uh -huh. There are two that are preferred for sausage and hot dogs. The one that doesn't have a ribbon, stay away from. Okay. Okay, it's called Angus. You think you're getting a good quality meat, but it's really not a healthy product. Same thing with organic. Even though something says it's organic, doesn't mean it is the healthiest option. Be sure to read for sodium levels. Be sure to look at carbohydrate levels. For example, sweet potatoes versus french fries. Mm -hmm. Well, your french fries are going to be your better bet if that is what you want to eat because of sodium content and because of fat content. Mm -hmm. Even with ketchups, there's two organics here. One with agave is the preferred one for healthier options. For mayonnaise, even the light um, Hellman's yeah. is not as healthy as the mayo with olive oil. Okay. But don't be fooled by olive oil because, again, it is higher in fat. It's a better fat, but it depends what your particular health concerns are for what you need to pay attention to by reading the label. Same thing with barbecue sauce. You have a lot of sugar in some of those. Yes, and also high sodium. So these three are the preferred. And trust me, when you go down that aisle, it's like a barrage, and you don't really know which ones. Pay attention to the sodium levels. Sodium and sugar levels are the ones you have to worry about with those. The thing that I want to bring to your attention is grilling pans. A lot of people don't grill outside when it's extremely hot. Uh -huh. And so if you have a grilling pan, the very best one is to use a cast iron. Not only do you get the benefits of the iron in your food, but you also have a very, very stable heat source because the heat is maintained longer with a cast iron pan. And as far as utensils, whether you're applying marinade, sauces, any Thing. This is the healthiest brush to use. It's a natural hairbrush. You clean it with a little lemon juice, a little water. Uh, you don't put the wood part into, you know, any kind of a dishwasher or a soak. How about cleaning the pan? Are there special instructions for cleaning cast iron? Actually, cast iron pans are really easy to clean. If you spray them with a spray like a pan or whatever you want first, and then if you want to put a little oil, you can. They clean up really well, but if for some reason you let it go too long, it does get a little bit, you know, murky to clean. Yeah. The best thing to do is just let it soak in water and then just clean it and you can rub it with a little olive oil and clean up real fast. Yeah, we have to take a break, but I wanted to mention we have this guy here. We're going to be talking yeah, about Dave, him later. Dave, Dave, banana Dave. And I want to stress the fact that you should buy local. We have yeah. a lot of farms in our area. We have a lot of local farmers markets. These foods, as you see, they have a banner. And try to, even if you're having hamburgers or hot dogs, try to buy the whole grain rolls, whole grain bread. It's healthier for you. Absolutely. Now we're going to check back in with you and Dave in uh, just a little bit here, uh, Dr. Janet. We're going to take a break right now. We'll be right back. Dr. Jenny Gaines is back with fun items from the new movie, Despicable Two. <laughs> what I love the glasses on Ginger. Oh, the Ginger. <laughs> this is inappropriate. He's <laughs> got a fart glass on the air. I'm not kidding. It's a fart glass. This is so cool. Dave thinks it's funny. You asked when you came out, who wants a farm plaster? I'm like, I do. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> what, what What's he saying? This is what we're missing if we don't see this movie. We have popcorn, too. Wait, wow. What is he saying? Banana. Well, oh, banana. <laughs> have you guys seen the movie? The no, first I one? think I saw the, the first one. one. Yeah, but I don't remember it's that. so movie. much fun. Whether you're a kid yeah. or an adult, it's a great movie. These guys are the best. So they're, they're coming best. out with their own movie, you know. Oh, they are? Yes, very soon. Very soon. Could take Vincent. It's a big hit. Yeah. Yeah. Minions. What do they call minions. the minions? Oh, minions, yeah. Oh, you've got the shoe on, really. Yeah, it's not doing oh, yeah. too much for my um, <laughs> style, I don't think. It's pretty oh, cool. I love it. I love it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>